Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on objective questions and answer on welding process. So this is part number three, which will be containing with most important 20 questions. So let us start with our question number one. In which of the following type of flame oxygen is in excess proportion with acetylene? Option A neutral flame, option B oxidizing flame, option C carburizing flame and option D both oxidizing flame and carburizing flame. So as per the technical concern in case of oxidizing welding flames are produced when slightly more than one volume of oxygen is mixed with one volume of acetylene or you can say in simple way more than 50 percentage contribution from oxygen. So that will be a uh, in case of oxidizing welding flames. So the right answer is option B. And in case of the oxidizing welding flames, that will be the most common used for weld zinc, copper, manganese, steel, cast irons, and etc. So for this, right answer is option B. The next amount of voltage required to generate the arc under no load condition is called option a open circuit voltage option b closed circuit voltage option c short circuit current and option d arc voltage so as per the practical concern the amount of current required to generate the arc under no load conditions that will be called as a short circuit currents so the right answer is option C. The next, the welding machine which is used to convert AC welding supply to DC welding supply. Option A, motor generator set. Option B, engine generator set. Option C, welding transformer. And option D, rectifier set. So for rectifier is used to convert AC welding supply to a DC welding supply. So the right answer is option D. The next, in DC welding, heat distribution is possible between electrode and the base metal due to the change of polarity. So the distribution of heat is option A, positive two third and negative one third. Option B, positive one third and negative two third option c positive three fourth and negative one fourth and option d positive one fourth and negative three fourth so basically in case of the dc welding the heat distribution is positive two third and negative one third so option a but with the possible between electrode and the base matter due to the change of the polarities. So if you change the polarities or you can say positive to negative and negative to positions, so that will be change of the distribution of the heat. The next, the correct colors for oxygen and acetylene hoses are option A, red for oxygen and blue for acetylene, option B, black for oxygen and red for acetylene option c black for oxygen and maroon for acetylene and option d red for oxygen and maroon for acetylene so basically as per the color concerns in gas welding process black for oxygen and acetylene which will be having a red color so the right answer is option b black for oxygen and red for acetylene the next question which one of the following is the type of transformer used in arc welding option a step down transformer option b step up option c one to one and option d capable of increasing supply voltage so basically step down transformer that will be used into arc welding process so the right answer is option a the next question in gas cutting, if too little cutting oxygen is supplied, option A, the metal will be cooled down, option B, the curve will be narrow, 
Option C, the curve will be wide and option D, the metal will fail to cut completely. So in gas cutting, the metal will be cooled down if too little cutting oxygen is to be supplied. So for cutting, there will be the excess amount of oxygen is being required. So the right answer is the metal will be cooled down. The next one of the functions of electrode coating is option A to increase welding current, option B to stabilize the arc, option C to prevent rusting and option D to control arc temperature. So one of the functions of the electrode coating and that will be to stabilize the arc and that will be the essential part for getting a maximum heat into the weld zone. So option B to stabilize the arc. The next in an oxytiline cylinder the acetylene is dissolved in option A water, option B carbon dioxide, option C acetone and option D mercury. So in acetylene cylinder the acetylene that will be basically dissolved into acetone. So the right answer is option C. The next question which one of the following is a temporary joint? Option A, welded joint. Option B, riveted joint. Option C, shoulder joint. And option D, press fit joint. So as per the practical concerns, the press fit that will be known as a temporary joint. So rest of the others like welded joint, riveted joint and shoulder joint that will be considering as a category of permanent joint. So for this, the press fit joints it will be considering as a temporary joints. So option D. The next in fusion welding penetration is the ratio of option A width of the weld to its depth. Option B length of the weld to its depth. Option C depth of the weld to its width and option D depth of the weld to its length. So, penetration ratio that will be known as a width of the weld to its depth. So, the right answer is option A, width of the weld to its depth. The next question, which of the following joints have high corrosion resistance? Option A, bolted joint, option B, riveted joint, option C, welded joint and option D, none of the above. So basically welded joints are the permanent joints and that will be also having a high resistance of corrosion. So the right answer is option C, welded joint. The next, which of the following processes do not use flux during the welding? Option A, submerged arc. Option B, oxyfuel. Option C, flux coat arc. And option D, friction. So basically in friction welding no flux is being utilized because friction welding that would be considering as a solid state welding process. So by the applications of the friction between two rubbing surfaces it will be used to developing a heat. So after the heating and the pressure is being applying and the welded joint it will be carried out. So during this process there will be the no flux is being used. So the right answer is option D. The next, which of the following is not a resistance welding? Option A, spot welding. Option B, butt welding. Option C, pressure welding. And option D, percussion welding. So basically spot welding, butt welding and percussion weldings are the types of the resistance welding process. But the pressure welding that will be not a resistance welding. So the right answer is option C. The next. Which of the following welding process is used for welding of sheet metals in automobile and aircraft industries? Option A. Shielded metal arc welding. Option B. Gas tungsten arc welding. Option C. Thermate welding. And option D. Resistance welding. So as per the industry like automobile and aircraft so basically the body of that particular cars and aircrafts which will be used for a resistance welding process to join so the right answer is option d then next 
हीट इज क्रिएटेड बाय द केमिकल रिएक्शंस इन ऑप्शन ए रेजिस्टेंस वेल्डिंग ऑप्शन बी ऑक्सी एसिटिलीन वेल्डिंग ऑप्शन सी टंगस्टन आर्क वेल्डिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी थर्मिट वेल्डिंग सो इन केस ऑफ द थर्मिट वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस और यू कैन से एल्युमिनियम थर्मिट वेल्डिंग so that will be the category of the fusion welding process in which the work piece are joined by the heat obtained from a chemical reactions of thermit mixers so that process it will be quite similar to the casting process but in that case the thermit mixer you can say aluminum and thermit or you can say iron oxide and aluminum that will be used as a thermit mixer to make a molten form so for that it will be option d thermit welding the next which flame is suitable for welding of ferrous metals copper and aluminium alloys option a oxidizing flame option b carburizing flame option c neutral flame and option d none of the above so basically the neutral flame which is quite suitable for welding of ferrous metals copper and aluminium alloys so option c the next in arc welding arc is created between electrode and work by option a flow of current option b voltage option c material characteristics and option d contact resistance so basically in any arc welding process basically arc is created between electrode and work piece by contact resistance so option d the next the material used for coating the electrode is called option a protective layers option b flux option c slag and option d binders so flux materials used for coating onto the electrodes and by the molten form of that flux it will be generating as a slag so if flux is being used into the welding so there will be the formation of the slags so for flux materials generally which will be used for coating onto a electrode materials then last questions copper is option a easily spot welded option b as good for spot welding as any other materials option c very difficult to be a spot welded and option d preferred to be a welded by spot welding process so basically copper having a difficulties to be spot welded because in that case of a resistance welding process the electrode material which is also quite similar to a copper or you can say most of the electrode that will be made with a copper materials so there will be difficulties to form a resistance of the flow of the electrode so for that that will be having a very difficulties for spot welded with a copper materials so option c so i hope you like this so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching